Dude, where are we headed today? Today we are heading to Grand Park in downtown LA. For what? For a taco festival. Alright guys, so we are on the way to the LA Taco Festival and not alone. We have friends. I want free food. Gee, how many tacos do you think you're gonna eat? 30. 30 tacos? You think we can eat 30? Hypebu's back here at the LA Taco Festival. Here in the beautiful downtown Los Angeles. So there's about like 30 plus vendors out here just selling in what I believe is the taco capital of the USA. So all these trucks are here to support the nonprofit group called Hovenus, which helps homeless youth. What? It helps homeless youth? For me, tacos are definitely a top five food. I don't know about you. Top one. No top one. <laughs> the taco festival is going to be helping out the homeless and the hungry. And we're going to see how many tacos we can eat, how many trucks we can visit. So let's go check it out, okay? Alright guys, we got the short rib tacos at Kogi. If you guys don't know, Kogi Taco Truck was probably one of the pioneers of the whole food truck movement. Roy Choi, right? He's a legend in the game. Kogi is like probably the first food truck that I ever lined up for. What we got here is their classic short rib tacos. It has the short rib beef in there. Cabbage. It's like their kimchi cabbage. Let's give it a shot. Cheers! It's just that classic Kogi flavor. It has that kick, but also that little sweetness from the, the short rib. Like our first episode, we are so happy about this marriage. I don't think you can ever go wrong with Kogi. They have so many things on their menu, and they always add a little, you know, a few new dishes. Their blackjack quesadilla is so good, too. I mean, Kogi, you guys already know, it speaks for itself. Check them out. <laughs> Truck. This is a Filipino fusion food truck. So they gave us three tacos today. We got adobo, casino, and sisi. So casino is like a sweet pork. Adobo is also pork, very garlicky, has soy sauce in there, and vinegar. vinegar. And then sisi is like a fried pork. I love pork, probably one of my top five animals. Right behind Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> but I love tacos and I love Filipino food. My mom makes all of these dishes, so it's gonna bring me back home. So I guess we'll just take a half bite of each one. Sure. And cheers! I usually have sushi for breakfast. It's so great in taco form. You get the crispiness of the pork. It's almost like a taco with pork and chicharron in there. Yup. The tocino is so good. In the taco, it's really good because you have the you have a really sweet flavor with the salty bite as well of the whole taco. So it's a really nice mix of texture and flavor. Now we're going to the classic adobo taco. Anaya, this is what you that is saucy. Adobo usually has a sauce with it. And they included that here in the taco, so it is not dry, it's so savory. When you bite into the pork, it's very, very soft and tender. Honestly, I love eating adobo and rice, but I think I might like adobo and tortilla a little bit better. I think my favorite might be the adobo. I thought it was gonna be the seasick one. The adobo is really tender, really soft. The pork one was good, because I had that nice, sweet flavor to it, but I still really like the adobo one. Probably the most tender of all of them, and probably the most nostalgic flavor, I think. On to the next one. It's mini update. We've got to two places so far. It's really hot out here, so it's kind of draining. We got some free drinks, which is cool, but we still have more tacos to try. We'll get back to you guys. So we're here to talk about a new treaty, Thai people and Mexican people. I don't know who's up all these treaties or who's brokering all these deals, but they're smart because they are making really good alliances when it comes to food. So we're at Thai Mex Casina. As you can see, it's Thai tacos. I've never had that. So we got a crispy pork belly taco, the chicken satay. The last one is basil shrimp. You get all these good Thai flavors on a tortilla. On top of that, we also have Thai salsa. That's spicy. Let's try this crispy pork belly taco. Damn, you went all lips with that. All lips, like I. Okay, thoughts. It's a good idea. The execution was something to be desired. It's honestly too crispy that it's dry. It's like when you put too much Doritos in your mouth. Yeah. Like hard to chew and swallow. 
This has been chewing it for a long time. This is like a food that I would eat where I'd really look out for the roof of my mouth. Yes. Next up, we have the chicken satay. Looks pretty saucy. Dang, bro, you went all teeth on that. You're welcome. That's good. It's good. A really tender meat. The chicken is just really juicy, and that sauce on top makes it really, really like that sweet aftertaste to it. That's honestly my favorite part. It's the peanut sauce. So you get a little bit of the crunchy of the peanuts, and it's sweet. Before I eat it, I want to show you, like, they put actual big shrimp in here. Yum. Really good shrimp. Good flavor on it. I could use something else, maybe a little bit of sauce, a little cabbage on top. But as for the way the shrimp was cooked, flavorful, a little bit of spice to it. So which one is your favorite? You ready? One, two, three, satay! Okay. <laughs> the chicken satay was the best. It was. Best well-rounded, really juicy, really saucy. Had a lot of great flavor profiles in there. Thai people in Mexico, a little bit more work. Maybe some uh, pad thai nachos. Holy crap. Ooh. What just happened? Pad thai nachos. I am shook it. Shook it. trying Street Kitchen LA, which is another treaty. Street Kitchen LA is a Vietnamese Mexican food truck. We have Vietnamese tacos. I really like Vietnamese food. They kind of made it like a banh mi sandwich. They have the pickled carrots and the daikon in there. Cucumber. They have cilantro. And then I think it's like a little like spicy, maybe a hoisin type sauce. And they have a little bit of jalapenos in here too. Also, they have a filet mignon taco. Just wanted to be a little fancy. A little, a little fancy. Really great flavors on this. The sweetness from like that poison type sauce and then the crunch from the daikon and the carrots make this taco. And you get the jalapeno in there. It has a good kick to it. All right, switch. Now I'm gonna try the pork. Beef. I think I like the beef better. They're both good. Pinky's out. Filet mignon taco. That filet mignon taco was so good. It was so tender, and it actually caught me off guard. The flavors are good. I love Vietnamese food. And the filet mignon taco, sleeper. Good job, Street Kitchen LA. More work to do with the Vietnamese stuff. Well, great idea. Well, great ideas. up here at the LA Taco Festival and I must say awesome free entrance free tacos the tacos we paid for were absolutely amazing I had a great time besides the heat all together I had fun trying all these fusion tacos Filipino Korean Vietnamese Thai they literally have every kind of taco you can think of I'm so happy you told me about this what was your favorite taco of the day though I really like the adobo taco shout out to my mom for raising you right <laughs> the adobo that they made there was really great it reminded me of what my mom is make. really tender and juicy mixing my favorite things comfort filling Filipino food and tacos. So what do you think your favorite was though? The chicken satay. So far because it was sweet, a little salty, crunchy, tender. It was everything for me and I really love Thai food so. This festival is just really great because it's free and it's helping out a really good cause. And so we just want to thank you guys for coming out and watching us eat as many tacos as we could. We hope that we did not disappoint. If you guys like watching us, please subscribe if you'd like. You don't have to. But just comment down below if you guys were here at the festival or if you have any tacos that you think we should try. If you guys already subscribed, please hit the bell button to turn on those notifications so you can get all our videos. And I'll see you guys next time on Hype Food.